Is it going to be a book? Is it going to be what? It's a, it's a book of oh, the a book. journey that I want them to, to hear and experience. And uh, now that I'm a producer, director now, we got a movie on the grid at uh, Amazon.com, on Amazon Prime. I got my friend out. Hey, how you guys doing tonight? Hey, it's a great fight. It's a great emotion. I like it a lot. It's been a good event of our Are you going to go back to your seat? Are you going to come back Ladies one more time before the main event? Because I have a lot of questions for you. In Miami, Florida, our next bout She's of the, the evening best. is so brought to you by Road Warrior Promotions. We'll come back Scheduled to for I eight rounds of professional right, boxing. Go join the fight and I'll see you in the next fight. I'm going to come get you. All right. The three judges scoring at ringside. All right, we're ready Mario for the heavyweight. Mario Perez Jr., here. Rich Green, and Gloria Martinez Rizzo. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Alan A. Bellies. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with a white trim, he weighed in at 223 pounds. A veteran of 12 professional bouts from La Rose, Louisiana, here is Steven. The Lion King Lions. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with a gold trim. He weighed in at 246 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 11 wins, no losses, all 11 wins by way of knockout. Originally from Lagos, Nigeria, now fighting out of Miami, Florida, here is Rafael Akpijiori. Well, guys, here we go. We're starting the last three fights. This is the pre co main event. Rafael, one of the my commands at all times. We're taking good with Glenn Johnson in this corner. 11 and 0, going first 12. I don't think he'll have a, he'll have a hard time. And, no. Uh, I don't see this lasting very long. Well, actually, funny you mention that. No one has ever gone three rounds with Raphael, and seven of his wins were first round KOs or TKOs. So I guess I'm so. right in my hunch. <laughs> Your hunch is correct. Yeah, from Nigeria, he moved to America on a basketball scholarship. Let's, let's talk as much as we can because I don't think it'll last. He's got the, yeah, he the was tassels a, on his trunks, at UM, beautiful trunks. Dual He's collegiate athlete, basketball and volleyball. Yeah, Stephen Lyons, yeah, he's got 12 fights, got more fights than, well, about the same amount of fights, but looks like he's maybe had a couple amateur fights. Let's call drop out with a nice straight right. Yes, to be careful because um, Rafael has to be careful. The other guy looks like he's, he's solid and he's loading his punches. Yeah, Lyons, I mean, he's caught him with a straight right, right at the beginning of the fight. Oh, yeah, I agree. And you can't duck in when he does. He, you can't go a guy that high. Can't duck into a shorter guy. He's got to stay. He's got to be tall. And he's got to use that job. You know, Lions are ready. He looks like he's hit him with a couple of shots. And Ruff, Raphael's got to like just be careful. He can't. That right hand doesn't look like a lot of power behind. It looks a little awkward. I know. I agree with you. I mean, his left should be a little bit more snappier, and uh, you know that way it's gonna be much more efficient. Yeah, he's throwing, he's throwing the jab out, but he's not snapping it. He's just kind of lingering it out there. I'd like to see him pop it like that. That's beautiful right there. Seems like, so seems like maybe he's throwing it out there just to see what, to gauge him. what his reaction is going to be, what he's going to come back with, and that way he can, you know, feel him out a little quicker and figure him out. Lance, uh, I mean, doesn't look like he's very nervous in there. He looks like he's, he's pretty comfortable. Yeah. Very comfortable, actually. Well, professional fights. Also, the other guy shouldn't fight his fight. He should fight from the outside because he's much taller. 
a chance to get you know up close to the other guy because he's landing solid shot as, as you can see yeah rafael's got to stay far i mean he should be getting hitting those with those shots in my opinion lines is getting to him a little bit a little bit easier than he should. nice left hook rafael just got him with a very nice left hook and he's following it up with shots gotta hold him yeah But that's what it takes with the heavyweight, so. Steven is a solid fighter. You know, you can land a good punch. And uh, I think that uh, um, Rafael should be careful. He should be. I agree. He caught him with a nice left hook, but he took it okay, though. He's back. He's, I think he's recovering. Yeah. Solid guy, no doubt. Yeah. Ooh, just missed with that grazing right hand. Yeah, same thing. He's got to give himself a little more distance. He's a talk. About what? 6'8. He's staying composed. Nice, nice left hook. He's landing that left hook repeatedly. He's following up with shots in the body. He's, doing he's, he's good. a little hurt. He's a little wobbly. Well, nice right hands. He'll make it through the Very round. good. But nice round. Very good nice round for round. Raphael. Beautiful. Listen, I Raphael think he snapped it off. Yes. He came strong in the last round. Caught him with a beautiful. He nice landed a few of those right. left hooks. I think the, he was gauging distance in the beginning. He was relaxed. He looked good. And then he was and ending Lyons, it up Lyons towards the end. looks a little dazed in his corner. He got caught with those shots. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Need, he's not coming out for the second round. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'd be surprised. He ain't coming out for so. the second round. I think, I think Raphael's got his number. He's Raphael, down one. Raphael, one. It's over. <laughs> That's it. Oh, he's actually. You know, he won a gold second round. Yeah, he wants to get some rounds, but. No mas, he's out. Look at that. He doesn't want to go on. Well, guys, that's what happens when you hit somebody too hard and you want to get rounds. I mean, he in. weighs over 250 pounds. It's going to have an impact. It's a lot of weight behind you. Very uneventful fight. But I saw him in the corner. I saw, as soon as I looked at lights in the corner, he was done. He was not going to continue. And uh, I guess I called it before anybody else did. That's <laughs> why did. I'm here. Yeah, that's right, right? The Johnson and uh, Akpiori corner is not very happy, but it's a knockout win. A win is a win yeah, is a win. 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 And you know, on I got to the next. I got a good Freddie Roach story that he's probably not going to be happy <laughs> that I'm going to tell him. A girl came into the gym one day. She was a jujitsu kind of girl, so she wanted to play around with Freddie. So basically, she took Freddie to the ground, and Freddie lifted her up and body slammed her to get out of it. I go, you body slammed the girl? He said, a win's a win. So you know what? You got to take a win. So a win's a win. Can't blame him there. Freddie also asked me when he came thing. to the gym about a year ago if we have inappropriate activities in our bathroom. For the record, he asked me that. I'm I'm just I don't know about that. I, I, I wasn't there. Not for here. That. It's not that kind of place. I Fred. wasn't there, Freddie. Freddie, I got you. Freddie. <laughs> win's a win. A win's a win. I asked Look. him to give me a professional fight one time, and he comes back because I got you somebody, and he mentioned the guy's name. Let's go to the ladies let's and gentlemen. Play. Let's have a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Miami Airport Convention Center in Miami, Florida, your referee in charge, Ellen A. Bellies, calls a halt to the bout. At 2 minutes, 59 seconds of the first round, your winner by TKO, now 12-0, all 12 wins by way of knockout. Rafael Akpijiori. Well, 12 and 0, 12 and 0 for Raphael now. Raphael, 12 and 0. They're having a good time in the ring, taking their pictures. It, it, it was a very uneventful win, but a win. By knockout, he goes to 12 and 0. Let him have his fun, let him celebrate because he earned it. He trains very hard. And hopefully, he'll get, a, he'll get more rounds with in this next fight. It's a big win for him, so they're having a good time letting him enjoy themselves. So now we go after this. We're going into the co-main event. Anna, tell us a little bit 
use your analytic history and tell us about the co-main event coming up. All right, so um, Carlos Negron, originally from Puerto Rico, he's training, training with Anaheim Casino, Casino Sports here in Miami.